we'll, we'll, we'll stick with uh, triple a and I, and do some uh, Henry Davis stuff. Cause Henry Davis had a really, really good, especially good. Uh, Indianapolis had a six game sweep of, of St. Paul last week. So they're, they, they've got things kind of firing down there right now. Um, is OPS is over 900 in, in August nine hits this past week, four multi-hit games, uh, walked more than he struck out, had a home run, four RBIs. Um, he's, I mean, I, I guess, like, I mean, we've talked about it before. Like, it's it's AAA pitching he's facing, It's and it's major league pitching that's giving him issues. So, but he, I mean, he's looked good. He's made some contact with some stuff. Uh, one of the game, one of the games I watched, he really struggled with like some elevated fastballs. And, and I still feel like there's like, I, I'm not going to pretend to be like some sort of swing doctor, but just like sometimes when he swings at those, just something looks off with it uh-huh. that, that like, it's like, okay, well maybe that's why he's not getting to those pitches up in the zone. So maybe there's something they could work on in the off season. They'll let him get there. But like he, he's crushing everything else. Like some of the big hits he's had were like breaking pitches, like down in the zone and, or like away or stuff like that. So he's getting to that stuff. And I guess, I guess it could be worse than he's like just missing at everything still. So he's making contact on some stuff. He's making really good, really hard contact. Like I, I do like the stat cast breakdowns on, on all the morning articles he's on there almost every day that he plays. Like he's hitting the ball really hard. Um, it's just here and there, there'll be some fastballs up in the zone that he just can't get to. They're not overpowering fastballs. He, I, the one game I watched there, nothing was higher than 92 that he was swinging and missing at. It was all 90, 91. So I mean, that kind of, that kind of sucks, but yeah, we don't like to hear that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, other than that, I mean, he's, he's done, everything you can ask for and 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 like i said indy had a sweep this week and he was uh a big part of that yeah it looks like a two hit game two hit game three hit game i know he homered yesterday um he's just he's a he's a frustrating player because yeah i mean you've seen every single i mean he's he's just crushed minor league pitching and and just lays waste to them. Uh, but then every time you, you've put him in the major so far, he's, he's shown he can't hit major league pitching. So it's a, uh, it's a really frustrating way place to be because you look at this guy just absolutely killing the ball in triple a. And you're like, we could use somebody like that in the majors. And then when you bring him up, he's just not that he's not the same person. Um, yeah. But I do I mean, think we've seen that a lot around the league too. A lot of guys, yeah. the, the gap in the triple a pitching right now is, and major league pitching is so wide that like it's there's some teams who like they're not even sending a lot of players to like triple a now they're just going straight straight from double a to the majors and it's just such a big gap right now Mm -hmm. so uh, being a 20 what 25 year old former first overall pick yeah you're probably you're probably going to mash the the type of competition that's that's in in triple a so but like i said it could always be worse he could be struggling there too so right like jack yeah 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 i mean you're right i guess it's nice that he's not struggling but yeah at some point you're like we got to see in the majors um so yeah i i'm not sure when that opportunity is going to come it seems like they're i mean i mean it's august 19th and they they've stuck with grandal up to this point so i don't know if it's going to take an injury to somebody for him to finally get a shot i don't know if it'll take maybe september when that roster expands by by a spot like but you want to get more you want to you want to give him major league at bats because you feel like that's the only way he's going to be able to figure out major league pitching because right now he's figured out triple a pitching yeah. it, it, it's one of those like what what else can he really learn down there i don't know if there is anything I don't think when they sit him down, I'm not even sure if there's anything at that point that he can learn down there. I think it was, I think, I think if it's a team that like you're, you're the white Sox or something like that, you probably just keep Henry Davis up the entire year and just sink or swim. Like we're going to give you the entire year and then we'll go, we'll, we'll go with it. We have nothing else working for us. So we're just going to give it to you. But at that, you know, at the point, Pirates were still kind of in it, and you can kind of hang on to the fact that for whatever reason, Grandal is 
quote unquote, like schemes as guy or whatever like that. So you have to, you kind of have to go with that with him over Henry Davis. Mm -hmm. And then like, like you said, now we're late August and we're kind of here, I guess maybe like if, if, McCutcheon is out for uh, an extended period of time into like the, where we're talking about like September call up kind of thing. Maybe you just call Davis up and let him DH. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. There's definitely room for him. Yeah. On the, yeah. Especially on the, the 26 roster. man. Yeah. yeah. There's definitely, there's definitely room for him. So. Yeah. And that was my argument. Let me ask you this too. Look, like I felt calling up being a ton of sense at this point in time for those reasons. But yeah, if they're still on the playoff hunt. And it's working up here, or you're not sure if it's going to work up here for Henry Davis yet. Like I'm, I'm for keeping him down yeah. through the end of the year. Yeah. Like you can make sense of it, but at this point in time, there's, there's no playoff hopes, and I don't think there's a whole lot left for him to learn, to develop, to do it in AAA that's going to help him. So like, let's get him up here. And if he struggles, it's okay to struggle because it doesn't really mean much. But I guess my thought too was, there's, there's at bats to go around. This is even like with Kutch on the team at that point in time. Um, do you think he needs to even see like every like is this a guy where he has to get every day at bats or like are you okay with like the argument of keep him in triple A because he'll get every day at bats where if you come up here he won't? Do you think he even needs to see every day at bats? No, no, not okay. at, not at this not at this point. Like major league pitching is major league pitching. Would it be more more ideal to get him as many at bats as possible? Yeah, obviously because you get you get you get the answer to your question quicker than I, I guess, you know, if he's playing five days a week, you kind of know sooner than if he's just playing once or twice. a week. But at this point, if the only thing that's left is for him to actually hit major league pitching, playing five to six days in triple a still doesn't solve that. Playing two days in the majors solves that question still quicker than six days in, in triple. So I think at this point, I mean, and two, like with, with, with Davis, like it, him coming up, and like if you're if you're moving on from Grandal to make that move for Henry Davis coming up, that kind of signals like okay, we're done for the year. That's it. Um, statistically, yeah, pretty much you're 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 out of it. But that's kind of like signaling like okay, well, we have nothing else this year. We're not going to make the playoffs, so let's just do what we do every year and let's take a look at some of these kids. And maybe they're just not ready to wave the white flag with it yet. And that that's why like you can make a case that like a Nick York and a and a Billy Cook still can kind of keep you in it because of, you know, they can play other positions and you have other guys. But like if you make the argument that Grandal's there because he he helps your top pitcher feel more comfortable out there and, and to and like he gives you the shot. And like what was even like he even Hits a little bit better whenever like Skeens is pitching to or something like that. He hit the home runner. Yeah, but I, I I don't know. But um, you could still make that argument. It's not a good argument because like what Grandal still statistically, offensively and defensively, one of the worst catchers in, in in baseball, right? So it's not even a great argument. But if it's an argument that you could make while you're still close in it, then it's better than just completely packing it in. And I think Davis of everyone is just. Him coming up and replacing Grandal would just be like, I'm done for the year. Okay. So. Kind of sad when you're saying that uh, when you move on from Yasmani Grandal, you're giving yeah, up. Yeah, on yeah. it didn't feel good saying any of that, but just like kind of looking how this uh, the situation's playing out, I mean, that's I, that's just how it kind of feels at this point. Or yeah. else why not? Why haven't you made that that move yet? Right. Because one of them is the veteran who's gelled well with somebody. The other is a young guy, quote unquote, who hasn't played well yet. So, like, if you're a winning team, you want the, the, the veteran who is mixed well with someone. If you're rebuilding, you take the young guy. 